So when I think about courage, I think of many, many different images. The first thing I think of are people standing up to power, uh, people who, on, for civil rights, for women's rights, for gay rights, people who are willing to stand up to power and say, I matter. Uh, I am entitled to the same equality, same rights as anybody else. When I think of an image, though, I actually think of a man taking care of children. I think the courage we need today are men who are willing to care, and to care in the way that women have always cared to be caregivers in the same way that women can now be breadwinners. And when I think of an image of courage today, I think of a man who has the courage to break the mold and to be a caregiver and to support his family by supporting his wife in whatever work she does. I have my own husband uh, who has the courage to support me in that way, to uh, be the lead parent, uh, to be a man who is not afraid to be uh, a full-time father you know, and to do all the things that women have traditionally done while also being a breadwinner, but allowing me to be the powerful woman that I have been allowed to be. And when I think about this in the United States, I imagine men across the board playing that role. When I think about this around the world, I imagine changing our image of what it means to be a man. That a man is not someone who dominates and controls. That a man is someone who supports and cares uh, and uh, earns an income for his family, but also, if, if he can, if, the, if that's possible, but also a man who is not afraid to do what has traditionally been called women's work. And that's courage, to say, I'm going to carry the water. I'm going to take care of the kids. I'm going to be a full partner with the women in my life.